Take it to the club, they wanna hear the bounce thing. In the street, get yeah, shit poppin'. If you lay back and chill, roll the house spin. Smoke it all night, high to the sky fan. What up, y'all? Prophet McFly here. So, uh, as you can see, sun's going down. Day one of the social media break is done. Oh, it was actually fairly easy. Uh, I spent more time on the phone with my mom and, like, actual people. And on the phone, like, calls. Um, so, I don't find it annoying. Now that I'm getting off work, I think it will be. People think I'm capping on bullshit, and here's how it works. I don't have... Facebook Messenger. I don't have any Messenger app from WhatsApp to Dust. Um, so I don't have Snapchat. I consider that a messaging app. I can't delete Instagram or TikTok because my scheduler needs them to post the post, I guess. Schedule the post, however it works. Um, but I'm not like responding to messages, notifications on those platforms either i know it might seem a bit arrogant like i said i just need a break and i've been working on so much content and outputs that i need to spend some time just getting that out and not instead of internalizing other people's creative content so um that's where i'm at for the first time in a long time i actually have made a beat don't hit me up I'm not gonna let you hear it man that shit slap i wish uh shit was back to normal so i can just like test it out in front of a crowd but it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer of that. There's a design to the universe and the designer has elegant taste. So I'm just trying to get my life up to class, up to par, up to frequency. Frequencies of social media and all that other shit. I just don't need right now. I will say this though. I saw a couple black TikTokers post. Uh, so when a black man or woman shoots a cop because we feel like our lives are being threatened, how does that one play out? Now, facts are they're the biggest gang in America, so they probably just hunt you down and kill you. And then sprinkle crack here, sprinkle crack there, like that joke off the old Dave Chappelle show. I found that funny, and I also find it dangerous. I think what people in certain states need to realize is that those rights change per state. These federally mandated things, like marijuana, like, I don't know, hate crimes aren't federally regulated. So like last time I was behind bars, what I was told was this shit is all Jerry rigged to be a, a racket. And I do believe that. To those people that are being victimized by the racket, I feel your pain. To those people who are frustrated by the racket, trust me, I understand. However, I don't think either of those are necessary a solution. I don't think either of those are not the solution. If you get what I'm saying, I'm not playing in the middle either. I don't think there's, I think if you are a person of color in this country, private legal firearm ownership should be a, a thought you seriously consider. I think if you are a black man that, when they pull us over, remember how our parents gave us the rules, one was like, always be respectful, always listen. I think we need to start taking that, I mean, always be respectful that always listen one, I think we need to start taking that within, not consideration. Um, we need to start taking that in and really considering if that's the thing we need to do. I mean, I watched a video today of a woman, I think she said she was bipolar, romantic. I, I don't really know enough about psychology to even really just Describe the difference, but this is something along the lines of, excuse me, on purpose. She said something along the lines of, to the cop, I mean, she did get arrested at the end, but she didn't get tased, she didn't get shot, she didn't get beat up, she didn't get choked, she didn't get sat on, she didn't get punched on the ground, she didn't get forcibly punched while another person's restraining you to keep you from swinging back or just protecting your face. Um, bullied. She didn't get group bullied by anyone. In fact, she bullied the group to the point where she broke the law. And then after multiple warnings, they chose to arrest her. Chose. I've seen all the videos, or a lot of them. And this is part of my desire to unplug. I've seen a lot of the videos of what's going on in New York, Detroit, and all these other cities. 
where people who don't like me are handed masks and people who look like me are handed fists or clubs or cuffs, a combination of the both or all of the above. And I, uh, I don't know, firmly believe that you know, a fraction of the history of policing in this country, then it's apparent what's going on. This is not new. If you know the relationship between the slavery or slavery as an industry and the prison industrial system, it's not surprising what's going on. Um, if you understand how false flagging works, 9-11, Pearl Harbor, maybe now what's happening, who knows? Um, I don't. It doesn't seem like the medical people that we're fed in these press conferences really know what's going on either. It's not beyond me to believe that people are okay with brown, black people dying, as long as the ends are met. But anyway, I divest. What I mean to say is, day one was weird, but cool. Make sure you check out my random day tomorrow for day two. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. You already know how it goes. Play time.